one in heart, one in purpose, one in mind. So today, Lord, we pray that you would make two, one, Austin and Nicole. There was a lot of things that were special about that first day. It might have been the magical and romantic place you went, Q's Billiards and Marietta. It might have been your skills with darts and pool playing. And I'm, I'm sure she was impressed with that, but I'm not sure that's the thing that stuck. It probably was the first kiss but there wasn't one on the first date. And in fact, on the drive home, you were going, why didn't I kiss her? And at the very same time, she was driving home. And little did you know, she was calling a friend saying, I'm gonna marry that man. And here you are today. First time I met Austin, uh, I walked up to the door, I put the key in and begun to unlock the top lock. Immediately you can hear Austin talking to someone on the phone and saying, he's here, he's here. And, and spastically having a panic attack and figuring out where to stand and what, where to place his hands and whatnot when I finally get the door open. If you know Austin, that's exactly how he, you know, the door rings, he's doing one of these kind of things. So. Um, I open the door and within steps of me entering the place, Austin greets me with a, a bear-sized uh, bro hug and says, welcome to our place. We don't have much, but we have cold beer. Nicole fell in love with you after you took her to Q's Billiards. <laughs> so do that every weekend for the rest of your life. <laughs> Uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> you said some amazing things and the moment she said that her heart just knew she could love you forever was when she had an unexpected sickness. And instead of you drawing back, you went to her and you took care of her. You took care of her. And when she felt unattractive, you were like, whoa, man, you are beautiful. And in the midst of her feeling not as beautiful as she feels today, you loved her all the same. And you said that she was gorgeous. And that's when her heart fully opened and she knew that you were trustworthy and the man that she wanted to marry. So what I would encourage you is to love her the same like that. Decide from this point forward that no matter what you go through, you are going to love her through thick and thin, through the hard times and the good, and you're going to call the best out of her, and your love will grow strong in this world. As you guys confess these vows to each other, you need to know that it's a time where God is adding His I do to your I do. That you're not in this alone. And that as you make these vows before God and these people, He's gonna strengthen you to keep them. Because today is not a contract. It's a covenant. Until death do us part. So Austin, I'd like you to begin. I, Austin. I, Austin. Take you, Nicole. Take you, Nicole. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Please rise.
I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a visible and constant symbol. As a visible and constant symbol. Of my promise to be with you as long as I live. As a promise to be with you as long as I live. I, Nicole, take you, Austin. I, Nicole, take you, Austin. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. <laughs> in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Till death do us part. With nothing left to be said, I now pronounce to you man and wife, and for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Austin and Nicole Cobb, you may now kiss your bride. Come on. Congratulations again. Uh, thanks. Uh, here's to the cops and go Phillies. Austin, I want to thank you for loving Coco the way that I feel everybody knew she needed to be loved. Um, I mean, she deserves the world, and I'm so happy you're giving her the world. I really love you both so much. Um, so, on the behalf of my family, your family, Coco, and Austin's family, let's please bring in the awesome, amazing Austin and Coco Cup. We are all here tonight. I want to hear a big round of applause for our bride and groom. Here's my Mr. and Mrs. Austin Cobb! 